very much for yes, uh, uh, coming and uh, taking your time to talk to us oh, today. Oh, very. Thank you. Congratulations on the album. It must be thank great you. to come over here with, uh, you know, so much success already in the States yeah. with it. Uh, and really... Just spreading the love. Just come out and spread some of that music. Everybody loves music. Want to get a little music going. Uh, you know, like I said, come over the pond and, you know, share with, you know, some other folks, share with some different people and, you know, just, you know, celebrate it, you know? Many people over here uh, probably uh, recognize you more as a, a movie star, and uh -huh. especially after the success of the Oscar. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, uh, it, and it may come as a surprise to them that uh -huh. music is your first love. Yeah, it was, a, it, you know, it's been my first love, you know, since I first started, but it didn't really pan out that way, and I'm kind of glad it didn't, because if it had been music first, I don't think I would have been able to have the type of career I have now, because music sometimes is, is a short-lived, you know, season, couple of hits, maybe not hits, and then you move on, but by being able to go into the acting and stand-up comedy and those different things, and then to pleasantly you know, by fate, running to people like Kanye West, who was, you know, trying to get his thing going. Said, let's sing slow jams. We did slow jams. And then we do Ray Charles. Hey, you know what? I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. And we do the Ray Charles thing. And then next thing you know, we come out with gold diggers. So it's a, it's a perfect setup to come and, you know, do what I've been longing to do for a long time. Just picking up on gold diggers. I mean, it's still in the charts. She take my money. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, uh, oh yeah, it's crazy. Man, is that a crazy? Is that crazy? I'm not saying she's a gold digger. She's just not messing with anybody broke. That's something else. Did you did you have a sense of the? Message? Yeah, we knew that that's we knew that that song was gonna be the national anthem. It was going everybody was gonna sing it because, like I said, you got the spirit of Ray Charles and what it did and how it it just really blessed and inspired everybody. And then the genius of uh, Kanye West saying, I got this joint. And I said, Kanye, we need to put this at the beginning. You know, I, when I'm in the yeah, she's a trifling infant indeed. Oh, she's a gold egg way over town. That digs on. I mean, anywhere you are right now, you're trying to get to the dance floor. You're spilling your drink. You're knocking people over. You're trying to get to, you know, you're trying to get to your get down. So we knew that that was going to be a, a classic. So you've got this great track already behind me and then you think right I'm gonna work on my own stuff who did you pull together I mean what was it everybody is on it was basically phone a friend I've been knowing these guys for years Snoop, Game, Common, Mary J Blige, LL Cool J's on the bonus track, uh, uh, Ludacris, Twister I mean this is an action-packed uh, record and the records are, are strong a strong record, so it's not like how you go, ooh, come help me, revive this. You know, ooh, this stinks. Could you just do something to make it hot? They're all hot. And like I said, in the States, it's, cra it's pandemonium right there in the States right now. It's crazy. So we're trying to bring a little bit of love and share it here. It's a hot record. It's a Thanks. sensual record. Yes, it is. Wow. It's it's very sensual. A lot of babies make this a lot of, It's a baby record. How are you feeling about I that? I feel good about that. <laughs> Good baby, we need a baby making record. I said, let's slow it down, DJ. DJ, won't you play this girl a love song? She really needs to hear this freaking love song. She's looking at me kind of hard. I can tell the things I ain't right on the home front. What she really needs is a G like me to beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. So that's what we're trying to do. Keeping a little bit of the edge by having Twister and the syncopation of the record. But we're saying, DJ, wait a minute. We're forgetting about the women. How are you going to forget about the women? We can't do that. So I'm here for that. you got one hot woman in that video. Yeah, Eva Pickford. How hot is she? Scorpio, too. Double Trouble. The eyes, the lips, the beautiful skin, and the great attitude. She doesn't let the beauty get in the way of having fun. We had so much fun on that video shooting it. It was just amazing to see how Paul Hunter put it together, and it's, it's hot. She is hot. Is that crazy? <laughs> you like that. Look at this. She, she really is. She's really hot. She's like, hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, beauty's a good thing. Is it? You need more beauty. Don't you, though? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, you are talking of gold diggers. As yes. Well. I think I like a woman who is not going to stand for just anything. Like I've always taught my female friends, even my sister, get with a guy who's on his way somewhere doing something. The, the word gold digger, in the, in the song, we're not saying that she's a gold digger. 
we're not actually putting that label on it. If you listen to the song, we're just saying that she's not messing with anybody broke or anybody who's not on their way somewhere. Because who would, why would you want to do that? You know, and women look to procreate. You know, guys look at a girl with a nice ass or nice breasts or whatever like that. <laughs> but women, they look to procreate. Can I have, can I have stability with this man? Can I, can I, can I have a kid? You know, will I have a house and, and things like that? Especially as you get older. When you start to come into your woman and you start to understand that I can't just be with a cute, sexy dude that ain't got a job. So that's why I, you know, I, I see that and see that in women. Sometimes they feel... You know, they get a bad rap for it, but there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you do like a woman who's also bringing something with her. You're not just waiting around, you know, somebody to, you know, to, to, to do everything for me. I like a person who's willing to be there for you, and we build this whole beautiful thing together. If you're out there, holla at me. And you'll, and you'll take them on the VIP ride with you? Of course. Absolutely. So, unpredictable. What's unpredictable about you? I don't know, you know, I think it's been un unpredictable on everything that we've done. I mean, we didn't predict Ray Charles, we didn't predict uh, the Kanye West movement and being a part of, of, of that beautiful thing. It was like, it's all just kind of unpredictable, it all just happened. So we thought that the record was perfect to uh, name the record and the whole album, to, excuse me, unpredictable. Now, did you hear your friend uh, Tom Cruise? Just, uh, yes, baby Suli. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we all we all we've already sent some gifts to him and we've already talked to him about his uh his beautiful happening. Man, how great is that, you know, for a person who has such a charismatic career, such a and, and the thing is people don't get a chance to really when you don't get a chance to really meet a person, it's kinda like you're just going by what's what's going on. But one of the nicest guys in the world and uh it's just great to see him win. And um I mean, you say you don't get to meet the people. I mean how Realistic. Now you get a chance to meet me now. You yeah. you know how I am. You could tell that at any minute we could be at the after party and it's going down. You could tell that. When and when when are you gonna sit back and sort of calm down and take it easy? Um, when they say <laughs> that's when I'm gonna take it easy when it's and we just wanna say today that it's great to when I do that, that's when it's all but other than that, you only got that long. Let's live it. I spoke to Beyonce and she said she wanted the Oscar, the Emmy. Grammy yeah. and the Tony. Yeah. The big four. Yeah. How how about you? Are you are you up there for the big four or No, nah, I just wanna just have a good time. I just wanna kick it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't wanna set anything up and then like set yourself up for like a failure, you know, but that's great that she has that because in Dream Girls, which we just finished with her, she is really on her way towards that and that's great, you know, to have those type of goals. But I like to keep my goals internal. If there is something that I like I don't put it out there because sometimes people will stand in your way of it or find out what's going on or try to, you know, tweak it some type of way. So the things that I have that I want to achieve, I'm going to tell it to you right now. And Miami Vice, tell me, come on, how hot's this film going to be? It's going to be crazy. And for all of the different women and, and, and guys that are really into that type of action movie, this is really going to be the one that knocks your wig off. Colin Farrell uh, is putting it down. I see how you're going to, ooh, Colin, you should see this. She's going, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, definitely. And if you're doing that right now, wait till you see the film because when, you know, when he turns it on, it's going to be problems. And then every once in a while, I have a line or two. Michael Mann, who's known for you know, his movies and everything like that. So it's going to be one of those that just uh, knocks your head completely off. You'll be walking out headless. Looking forward to it. Finally, I'm going to ask you to do an eye dance. Sure. Hi, I'm Jamie Foxx. Uh -huh. And you're watching Entertainment Now. What's up? I'm Jamie Foxx, and you're watching Entertainment Now. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good one. Uh -huh.